Um, you have six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So somebody from your past could be come back around. Um, this Mercury retrograde that just started yesterday is in the sign of Pisces, so it will affect you more so than any other sign. Um, I do get a, like, I still have this very heavy feeling that this is about your finances, though, Pisces. Um, you could be spending too much. You could be um, holding back from spending money. Maybe you went through um, some difficult times with finances, and now that it's starting to come in, you're afraid to spend money in the fear of um, it not coming in as quickly as you want it to. Um, maybe you are going into hermit mode right now just to save money. But I do get a very, very heavy feel that this is most definitely to do with your finances and not a relationship. So let me clarify a little bit. If you do have a shopping addiction, let me just say that you probably have your Venus in Leo or Taurus. Because Taurus and Leo are both about luxury and material possessions. So um, let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Seven of Pentacles. You know, the Ace of Coins reverse. So you could have recently lost a job and now um, maybe you're on unemployment and you know your your income's limited. Maybe you're just working off your savings. Um, but you're definitely being more aware of what you're spending. Um, you could be budgeting your money a little bit more. Tell me about those three of pentacles for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four of coins. So definitely holding on to that money more. Whether that be because out of fear of, you know, not having enough at some point in your life in the future. Um, or a fear of losing an income, or um, out of you trying to get control of how much you spend. You know, trying to get control of a shopping addiction, or um, just being irresponsible with your money. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles for Pisces. You have the Devil Reversed. Again, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like this is more of you resisting the urge to spend your money. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Pisces. Queen of Cups. Um, if it is a shopping addiction, I feel like it is to, um, it's, it's usually triggered by an imbalance of your emotions. Um, maybe, um, spending money boosts your confidence in some way. Um, so knowing that could help you get control of a, a shopping addiction as well. You know, realizing what your triggers are and how to avoid coping with them the way you do. Tell me about the Hermit. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The High Priestess reversed. So you could be going into hermit mode just to avoid spending money, but I feel like 
because the high priestess is your energy. This is um, moon energy, which is, it can be Cancer or Pisces energy. So I feel like um, you're not going to feel like yourself. Like it's the wrong way to to deal with this. Um, you should be ar around other people, maybe, that'll help you through this. Um, there could be somebody, like a parent or um, somebody in your life that can help you um, budget your money better. Maybe you could go to an accountant or, you know, anyone really that you trust with your finances that will help you through this. Tell me about the Emperor for Pisces. Six cups reversed. So, you're reflecting on the past and not wanting to struggle with your finances the way that you usually do because you have struggled in the past it's it's what's giving you the energy that you need to control your finances more to gain more control of it um I do also see that maybe um, a place of employment that you used to work for, this boss may be getting a hold of you and asking you to come back. That could be the case for some. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. Knight of Coins. You could be getting a promotion. Or this is you realizing that it's going to be a long process, but you're willing to put in the work to, you know, get in control of your finances. So, Pisces, there's temperance at the bottom of the deck, finding moderation. All things in moderation. So you don't have to completely cut shopping out of your life, but do it responsibly. You don't have to completely cut every everything that costs money out of your life, but, you know, do it responsibly. You know, pay your bills first, and whatever you have left can be your fun money. Oops. So, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. With this card, I see the doves controlling the strings of the arms like like he's a marionette or something let me just look in the book assistance helps support i felt a tug you must be at the end of your rope so um this is um if you need help don't be afraid to reach out um there could be somebody in your life that will show you how to get a hold of your finances. Um, if you are thinking about a past job, reach out to that employer. Reach out to that old manager or boss and see if they're hiring again. See if they'll take you back. Um, if this has to do with, your, um, with losing a job or you know, a shopping addiction or some some way that you need to learn to budget your money or um, maybe you're not making ends meet or something like that. There is somebody here who can help you. 
Um, and I feel like you know this person. You know who this person is. Very well could be a Virgo. Somebody new came into your life and made you forget about that asshole that broke your heart. That is exactly what I'm seeing here. Tell me about the wheel for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Four of swords reversed and the queen of swords. So you could have been isolating yourself after a breakup. But you're coming out of that. Tell me about this Queen of Swords for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Faith reversed, which is the high reference, so Taurus energy, and the Emperor reversed, which is Aries energy. Um, you definitely cut somebody out of your life. You cut somebody off. They broke your heart too many times. You could have been dealing with a third party. Um, and then almost immediately, it looks like somebody else comes in. Tell me about this. Page of Cups. Page of Cups for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is this Page of Cups here? Ah. King of Swords reversed. Seven of Coins. Page of Wands. Maybe someone new isn't coming in. <clears throat> this could be talking about that past person that you cut off. I feel like you were dealing with a narcissist. And the second you stop paying him attention, he came back around like they always do. But you weren't having it. Tell me, tell me about this Ten of Wands. King of Cups reversed. He probably never opened up to you emotionally. Um, he may have been a big man-child. If we're talking about a woman, she may have been high maintenance or a crybaby. And, you know, left you with so many responsibilities. You had to pick up the slack for this person. And even in the relationship, if he didn't try and you didn't try, then nobody was trying. Like, you put all the effort into the relationship. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. I don't even need to clarify the Six of Pentacles. This is you giving too much in a relationship. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, the Six of Swords reversed. Nope. You took this person back, didn't you? You believed them when they said, I love you. I'm sorry what I did. Let's, take, let's start this over again. And you have the star at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or, you, you know, he could be... Coming back around for attention. Tell me about this Ten of Swords for Pisces. 
Four of coins reverse. No, nope. six of coins reversed. No equal give and take. This person's not helping you out whatsoever in your your relationship. You're in an unrequited relationship. But you're letting him cloud your judgment and you're not getting yourself out of this disgustingness. I'm not saying you're disgusting, I'm saying he is. He's probably cheating on you. You know, you're probably putting all your money, you know, giving him money, buying him gifts all the time. Does he ever remember your birthday? Does he ever buy your dinner when you go out? Does he ever just randomly buy you flowers? Probably not. But you're constantly giving to him. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Oops. Ace of Wands. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You may get a sudden burst of energy to just move, to get away from him, to just drop him, even if you don't move. Just to move on from him. You may have a one night stand maybe. And that's that's maybe the energy I was picking up on earlier when I said somebody new came in and then changed my mind. So maybe you have a one night stand. And this one night stand that you don't particularly have any interest in other than wham bam, thank you ma'am. He gave you the the courage you needed. He gave you that extra push you needed to leave. He gave you a little boost of confidence. Enough for you to be like, I don't fucking deserve this. Some final advice for Pisces. Oh, that's a lot. Final advice for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You're ready to go, you know, off on your own. Not with somebody. Just, you're ready to go adventure. You know, if you were in a relationship with a narciss narcissist, there's a good chance you're an empath. They're attracted to empaths. So you're ready to go around and experience the world on your own so that you don't have to deal with so many energies. You don't have to deal with him ruining everything because he just sucks all the energy out of you. You're just going to go on a solo adventure. Maybe you'll travel the world. Maybe you'll just go see a new state. Either way, it looks like you're gonna get some kind of burst of energy that's gonna make you realize that this guy is no good and he's never going to be